Right guys, so we'll be getting a brand new update coming out tonight for Dragon Ball Legends weekly reset update. So let's talk about exactly what we'll be getting as well as everything that's going to leave in the game and everything we can expect as well. So in today's video, we'll be pretty much just dissecting absolutely everything we'll get tonight uh, for Dragon Ball Legends weekly reset update. And of course, if you do find value or just enjoy the video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe and all that good stuff because I always greatly appreciate every single one of my subscribers. I really, really do. So um, let's not waste any time, guys. First things first is that we are going to be getting a brand new banner coming out tonight none other than the return of ultra super vegito i highly advise and just just skip out on this banner i mean i love super vegito he is back in the z tier uh, or featured boost tier system so he's good he's not a bad unit um it's just not the time to summon for him right it's really not the time um <sighs> next week we should be seeing another ultra okay guys it's it should be coming out next week it, it's it should be because that would be the finale pretty much right here, as you guys can see, for the uh, Majin Buu Saga campaign. So just just save. Super Vegito is a good unit, but if you guys get shafted, I mean, there's pretty much nothing else you can expect. The thing with Ultra Banners, and I've said this before plenty of times, they have to start updating Ultra Banners to pretty much just make it where they include multiple ultras in one banner and that's not a bad thing I, I don't understand why people say that's a bad thing that's actually a great thing it just makes the banner worth more wild um the filler lfs like let's just say uh the old yellow super saiyan blue gogeta is in the banner he's pretty much useless at this point in time right he's not the ultra version or anything like that so the these ultra banners definitely need to get updated and by the way these old lfs only drop at 600 Z power as well. So it's really not worth it. And the shaft could be very much real, guys. And we're just one week away from the brand new Ultra for the uh, Majin Buu Saga campaign. And on top of that, next month is already the anniversary, guys. In just four to five weeks. Think about that. Four to five weeks is going to snap by like that. And then we still have the anniversary for May, June, and July. Skip out on this banner. I get, even, if, even if you guys were paid to play... I would still skip out on this banner. And that's just from my experience. If you guys, you, you guys can just take my advice or you guys can summon. I really care. I'm just giving you guys my two cents. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get that. Uh, let's really quick talk about everything that's going to leave in the game. Not much leaving, to be honest with you guys. Of course, this Maja Vegeta battle gauntlet is ending. So, uh, I mean, yeah, he's a pretty fun Zenkai. Pretty, um, look, I'll tell you what, with Zenkais, yes, they're bench warmers. But if they bring out unique equipment like they are going to start bringing out for for example, this is Zenkai Buu, right? Then we can start talking about Zenkai's making a slight comeback. Zenkai's are bench warmers. It's very rare to find a Zenkai that's actually worth using besides it being LF Zenkai's because that's pretty obvious. Um, but the fact that they're going to make these regular unique equipment specifically for characters from what it looks like, Zenkai's. Um, then we can start talking about, like I said, um, Zenkai is being worthwhile. So I'm very curious to see. Uh, by the way, we are going to be getting this unique equipment coming out tonight. And I'll be coming out with leaks in just a few hours from now. But um, this is going to be a huge test to see if this is going to be worthwhile. Because this equipment to bring back this good boo has to be very, very good. Very good. Um, and I've made a video on this. So I'm not really going to touch on it too much. But um, the thing is that it's it's this character is a good Zenkai. Um, he's like one of the few Zenkai's that actually has a very good, you know, broken kit, but it, power, the, the power creep is just beyond belief. And a lot of you guys are saying this toxic character is going to come back. The, the game is not the same what it was three years ago, guys. Just let's be real. Okay. Does this character have some broken abilities like locking strike cards, locking characters, healing? Yes, but it's not the same. It was three years ago when this character was pretty much, you know, um, non affected by health restoration debuffs that didn't exist back then. This is very common nowadays. Um, as well as many other things. This character doesn't have card draw speed um, and stuff like that. I mean, it's just, I'm very excited because this is this is my preferred choice of um, of who I wanted to be getting this unique equipment for the Majin Buu Saga campaign. So I'm very excited for this character. He was my number one used character for many, many uh, months and years, uh, years ago. So I'm very excited, but we'll have to make this character very good. Um, but yeah, we're going to get a brand new battle gauntlet um, coming out tonight as well, which is going to be none other than this... Um, Super Saiyan 2 Yellow Goku now. I'm quite disappointed that they did choose this Goku here. Hopefully next week they choose the LF Zenkai Kid Buu. Um, LF Kid Buu that is. Uh, because this Goku here is pretty much... I, I just do not like him, man. His Z ability is pretty much useless. It's just strictly for yellow colors. Uh, base track attack and blast attack. So I don't... Like, I get it. They never update 
Zenkai's Z ability, normal Z ability, but they start should they should really start thinking about it. I don't see why not. This would be the first character they should be doing that for. Uh, because let's face it, unless he's in the leader slot or unless you're running double yellow and a color in the leader slot, then it's pretty much useless to run this character. So, I mean, yeah, 700 crystals up for grabs, I guess. But uh, yeah, we're going to have that. Pui Pui is finally ending. If you guys have not farmed this guy, I highly advise, guys, I highly advise you guys to do so. Uh, he's actually one of the better free-to-play characters. I actually like him a lot. Even though he was an April Fool's joke, he is slightly better than some of the other free-to-play characters. So I definitely do like this character. Definitely uh, farm him or maybe get some of these kilo, uh, you know, things to exchange for some uh, some racers in the shop. Because, you know, of course, we're going to get the brand new unique equipment coming out tonight for uh, for uh, good boost. So, and of course, this from the original series is going to end as well. And uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, of course, Super Vegeta is going to come out tonight. And, oh, the golden login bonus should... I, they mentioned when this was going to come out for the reveals and stuff, or in the reveals and stuff, but uh, I forgot the exact date, but this golden login bonus is actually quite good. Pretty much every three days, or every single day for about like three weeks or so, um, or even more than that, or like two weeks. Um, we, we're, we're pretty much going to get crystals, erasers, and something else like skip tickets or something like that, so... Each three days, we get 100 crystals upon logging in. So this is actually a very good uh, login bonus, of course. It's the uh, golden login bonus. And by the way, we're also guaranteed a Legends Battle Royale coming out. Most likely going to be Friday or Saturday. So that's going to be coming out Friday or Saturday as well. And this is most likely, if I had to bet my money on it, going to be a Majin Buu Saga Battle Royale. Because the last one, I believe, what was the last one? It was just like um, the first two years of the anniversary or something like that. So... Um, yeah, this is going to be the Majin Buu Saga campaign one, and Good Buu is probably going to be ran there for sure alongside Super Vegito, so I'm pretty excited for that. And um, yeah, that leaves us with pretty much four question marks left, guys. Um, one of them being an Ultra, I would assume. Hopefully, the other one being a Hopoi, and one other being an LF Zenkai Kid Buu, and the other one being up for grabs. Now, this is, of course, me being optimistic. Um, and of course I don't know just yet exactly what's going to be coming out, but, um, if I get any leaks, I'll definitely let you guys know ahead of time, but yeah, man, I am quite excited. Um, some of the, uh, good or better, um, um, equipment for this good boo. If you guys want to start farming besides the brand new one that's going to come out tonight, um, there's this one. So this one has base health up to 8%, which is great. Actually, this, this is a very well-rounded equipment, pretty much. You get a little bit of everything. Uh, health, strike defense, and blast defense up to 12%, which is not much, but it's a very well-balanced equipment, as well as base strike attack and base blast attack up to 15% uh, each. And this is for Majin Buu Saga um, uh, in general. So uh, it could fit quite a few characters. Now, if you're one of the few characters or one of the few players that actually pretty much rank high in the Legends rank and chose this defensive equipment, then, of course... This one would be great. 45% to both strike and blast defense. A little mini Zenkai right there. This one is okay. I wouldn't really advise you guys to farm this one. Um, a little bit of defense, more offense, obviously, with the strike. And I just think there's better suited equipment for the uh, good boo, of course. Um, this one is also pretty good. Health restoration up to 10%, and then a whopping 18% to both blast attack and strike attack. And it's not awakened, so it's pretty easy to farm as well. Another good one with 8% to health is this one with a little bit of defense and a little bit of offense as well. Of course, it's not the best because it's not an awakened equipment, but much easier to farm. And the last one would be this one. Um, pretty solid offensive equipment, but still there are better options. But I just thought I'd give you guys this option. But uh, with all that being said, guys, I am quite excited for today's updates and leading up to next week's Ultra. And I'll keep you guys updated here 24-7 like I always do in my channel. And, if you and, and of course, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll definitely catch you guys once again for some leaks in a few hours. Have a good one. Peace.